Okay, guys, we're gonna jump into some. Well, we're jumping into episode five. No going back now. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the last episode. So as of right now, we just lost Rebecca. When the last episode we lost Rebecca, we lost. We lost Rebecca, Sarita, and Sarah. I'm pretty sure that's everybody. And I'll, I'm about to figure it out as we see this. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. If it puts you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down the road. Drake, I'm gonna Put it fucking go. shoot it. I'll do it. Drop 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 it. I don't know what the hell just happened right there, so. Consider your adapts to the choices you make. The story is towered by how you play. Okay. I know. That does not sound good, though, at all. Oh shit. Gotta get to that baby. straight through shit i don't know <laughs> damn i think i'm gonna be fine yeah that was 
Jane! Woo! That's what's up. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was intense. I thought, yeah, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way, that didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker, but it's different. You saved us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but... What wrong? Come on. Okay. This happened. She turned just like that. Don't you go blaming yourself, Kenny. You did what you had to to protect the boy. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. Be rest easy. <gasps> you piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys, get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please! Kenny, his... His sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. Is it his house? Food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. For food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I, I not want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? It doesn't matter why it happened. We have to move on. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. 
Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I take you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I thought a lot more people were going to die after all them shots were going. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I, I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. So you want a cookie? <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good, because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it probably gets pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No, that would suck. I'm going to try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't got to point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We got to keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. You're the only one that he trusts, that he really trusts. That means you're the one that's going to have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes. Yeah, I can't see that kid running that far anyway. If he did try to run, he has that uh that mechanism on his leg. I don't know what it is, but it's like I guess he can't walk without it. He must have like a bad leg or something like that. I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. Damn, Kenny's getting out of out of control right now. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got Clem if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. Is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes. I've noticed that too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other with something. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. 
Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? For being a man. <laughs> Okay. How did we get here? What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, laying up against a tree, bullet in my leg. Alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What I miss? Hmm. Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining mostly. Yeah, <laughs> nothing important. Okay, you don't gotta tell me if you don't want to. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. Bye, girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. You're gonna pour peroxide on his eyes? Damn. It's gotta get done. Well, at least around his eye, man. That's going to burn like hell. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean... Huh. Yeah. I like it. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you uh, got there? Cause I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. I wonder if you're actually going to get to see it. So how's it look? Oh, damn. Still going to be pretty when this heals? Are you going to be okay? Oh, I'll be fine, darling. Going to take a lot more than a couple smacks with the radio to take me out. It's not, it's bad, but it's not like crazy bad. I thought it would be a lot worse than that. So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. So, this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. <laughs> Just let you know, I've already been through it. Stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart. It'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, well, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah. That guy had a pair on him. I 
should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about Dad. Every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here. Raising this boy. It should be him. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. Well done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Yeah, I think I'm the only one that actually knows that it's not uh, Alva's kid and it's Carter's. I think I might just keep it that way too. So you gotta you gotta let Kenny is that it? stay his own with his uh with the kid, man. Hey. Seems like he's more safe with the kid. What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean what? The place you're fucking taking us. Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. The silver walk, some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. <laughs> Looking over to Mike. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. It's not the best place to stay, but it'll it'll do, I guess. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. How can you even tell? Been keeping track of the days. Been a few times I wasn't sure I'd see my next birthday. Well, you did it. That's uh, worth celebrating. So that makes you what? 27? That's that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. And what did you study? 
majored in art history. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. Feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh, wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the. Uh, Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterward. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way, and to the hope that we see them again, someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah, maybe later. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about it. <laughs> Steven. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right. It wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. Like both of you. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. Thank you, Clem. I'll do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry, it's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this to change your mind. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.